on everybody this is B back again with another Undertale fan game <laughs> I found Bonely Hearts Club demo what's uh we're gonna go with B and our pronouns there we go we are she her I think that's saved. Yes, see her. Okay. What is your name? B. Yes. Oh, well. How would you like to be for she, her? Okay. Well. I thought I had to set it up in the settings, but I was wrong. But I was like, I can't resist another dating sim. Oh, please don't crash. It's a lovely spring afternoon, and I'm curled up on my bed at home. It's not a bad place to be, I'll admit. A little lonely, but what can you do? Get a cat, I guess, or a dog. Maybe a hamster? I have almost all of those, except I have rats instead of a hamster. <laughs> As I ponder, my gaze turns to the window. Through the sunlit curtain, I can see the silhouette of the house across the street. The house has been uninhibited for years, and for good reason. It's by far the largest house in the neighborhood, a modern two-story affair that looks like it was whisked from the pages of Architectural Digest and dropped without ceremony in an average yard in an average suburb. I can't imagine the people with the money to afford it wanting to be my neighbor. I mean, the neighborhood is nice, but it isn't rich person living in McMansion -man nice. I stand up and stretch, thinking that I should get off of social media enjoy the sunshine when I throw the curtains back I, I'm caught by surprise at the scene that greets me there's a moving van in front of the house that I had moments ago presumed uninhabited its doors are thrown open a variety of household objects spilling out of it and onto the sidewalk there are a few boxes and pieces of furniture set out on the lawn and the house front door is open new neighbors I should go say hi and introduce myself. Whoever it might be, whoever it is might be lonely or need help moving in. It might be weird to just show up out of the blue though. What is my excuse going to be for going over there? Uh, assert myself as a senior neighbor, neighbor, be bold and honest by intentions, bring big goods. Everyone wants big goods. We're going to bring some snacks. I don't have anything ready at the moment, but I can always bring something. I'm ready to head out into the sunny afternoon to meet my new neighbors. I lock my door behind me and venture across the street, looking both ways first, of course. Amongst the boxes and furniture, I spy a set of lawn chairs. In one of the chairs sits a prop skeleton in a limp pose, seemingly asleep. It wears a stained blood blue hoodie and a basketball shorts. I can hear bickering a coming from the moving van, but I can't help but distract, be distracted by the odd choice in the lawn ornament. Did Halloween come early? To my surprise, Skeleton comes to life and blinks blarely at me. Don't be a jerk o lantern I'm just chilling. That startled me. <laughs> Understandably startled, I jumped straight up in the air, unless this is a really, really techno- logically advanced Halloween decoration, my no neighbor is a talking skeleton. And I just made fun of him. In front of him. Out loud. Oops. I backpedaled hard. I am so sorry. Oh my goodness. I didn't realize you were alive. Er. I mean, I thought you were in a centric lawn decoration. I'm sorry. Truly. The skeleton laughs. <laughs> Don't worry about it. There's an awkward pause. So, uh, who are you? Oh, sorry. Again, I'm B, your neighbor from across the street. I just wanted to come over and introduce myself. Didn't mean to cause a ruckus. I see. I'm Sans. Sans, the Halloween decoration. Yeah. How old are you doing? Nice to meet you. <laughs> he holds his hand out 
for a handshake. Uh, we're gonna... Oh. Okay, like, I would want to make a pun back. I'm doing pretty good. Thanks, you. Fabulous. Paps is gonna love you. I have no idea who Paps is, but my confusion doesn't last long. My attention is grabbed by a tall skeleton unfolding himself from the back of the moving van. He's holding a large cardboard box labeled Antique Light Bulb Collection, plus weird glass jars that I didn't know where else to put, and one arm, his other hand resting on his hip. The moment he catches sight of Sands in the lawn chair, he squawks in indig indignation and stomps his foot. Sands! Why aren't you working? He drops the box he's holding to put both of his hands imposingly on his hips. I can't get over the voice acting. <laughs> the box hits the concrete with the sound of many shattering glass objects. You have plenty of boxes left on the lawn to carry inside, brother. Wait. Sands! Our incredibly valuable, specific, and niche collection of two antique light bulbs! And less valuable collection of 40 weirdly shaped jars. <laughs> The skeleton now seems distraught. I am unsure how to deal with this. Sand seems unfazed. Oh, hey, Papyrus. Check it out. We have a visitor. The tall skeleton, Papyrus, seems immediately forgot the box and turns his attention to me. Hmm? The moment Papyrus turns his back, Sands kicks the box of um uh the box of broken antique light bulbs and less valuable weirdly shaped jars behind his lawn chair. Out of sight, out of mind. For what it's worth, Papyrus doesn't seem to notice. Oh, hello, human. What brings you over to our humble abode? I'm your neighbor. Wowee. Well, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, neighbor. I am the great Papyrus. I see you've already met my lazy bones brother, Sands. Yeah, we've spoken a bit. I think I heard you talking to someone in the moving van. Ah, yes. That was one of our cousins. They're all loitering about the property, getting settled and whatnot. Or they should be. Some of us are instead lazing about bone noggling. <laughs> cousins? <laughs> yeah. How many of you are there? Ten, including the two of us. We're quite the gaggle of skeletons. <laughs> I thought a group of skeletons was called a murder. Ten? I gaggle indeed. No wonder they bought a giant home. Sands narrows his sockets at me and strokes his chin. You know, you seem pretty chill. Thanks. Right, so I'm gonna cut to the chase. I have a bunch of hermit cousins who need socializing. Kinda like puppies. <laughs> well, some of them are like puppies, but some of them are more like nervous rescue dogs. And you seem like you could get along with anyone. Probably. Wink. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Thanks. I'm not saying you have to socialize them in order to progress. Or maybe I am. Wonk. <laughs> okay, I shouldn't be giggling over the wink. And it's wink wonk. Why are you saying wink and wonk? You have sockets. <laughs> And stop bothering our new neighbor with your cryptic nagging. Sand shrugs. I'm confused. Uh, well, I'm going to get back to unpacking. It was a pleasure to meet you, human. Don't let my brother bore you too much. <laughs> and you as well, Papyrus. Good luck. With that, Papyrus is gone and I'm left with questions. Many of them. I turn to Sands. He shrugs again. I think it's nap o'clock. So, if you'll excuse me, it's time for me to snooze. Watch out for the ladder ghost. Ladder ghost? He just snuggles back down into his lawn chair and almost immediately starts snoring. It seems Sands will be of no help. He seemed pretty determined that I go meet his cousins, and as awkward as it would be to wander around their property alone, I kind of want to meet them. Uh, we're gonna go... Okay, where would I go in real life if I was going to go? Probably the backyard. I decide to go around the side of the house check out the backyard. 
The grass is kind of patchy and there are garden implements stone strewn about, but it's spacious and has potential. There's a skeleton with his back towards me in the back of the garden. It looks like he's digging. He doesn't turn around as I approach, but he sighs in defeat when he hears my footsteps. Nox, Sans said no spiked fences, remember? You gotta stop asking me about it. Oh my goodness. Right away? Are you serious? I don't care either way, but... He finally turns around and seems startled. Uh, oh, sorry. I thought... Are you... Ipsy. Lost? Or if you're trying to sell us a vacuum, we don't plan on letting dust accumulate oh. anyways. Oh no. Oops, I had a thing. My cats are fighting. Does he think I'm a door to door salesman? Oh no. Sans, your cousin, he told me to say hi to all of you. So I'm doing that. I'm your neighbor, B. I see. Uh. Uh, oh, uh, did you need something? Like a cup of sugar? Or, um, a cup of dirt? I have a lot of that, as you can see. Yeah. He gestures around him. There is indeed a lot of dirt, since we're outside. No, no, I'm okay. I just wanted to introduce myself. No pressure. I don't need anything. Um... It is nice dirt, though. Very nourishing for your plants. There's another awkward pause, and seem to be a lot of those in this conversation. I didn't catch your name. Oh, I didn't throw it. Ha, good one. Thanks. You can, uh, call me Ash. Have you met any of the others? I don't like the sound. <laughs> I got my... Like, my headphones, like, really make it whispery. <laughs> Some of them. Uh, you might have better luck with the rest conversation-wise. I'm busy with my dirt. Ah, okay. Alright, sorry. Have fun with your gardening. I leave quickly, not wanting to bother him anymore. He seemed like he wanted to get back to his gardening. Okay, well, okay, where else would I go? I guess the living room. I head to the living room. It's pretty spacious, definitely enough space for 10 people having a movie night. There's a colorful skeleton sitting on the precarious pile of boxes. He's straining to reach the ceiling to set up a projector. The boxes are starting to lean dangerously to one side, but he seemed oblivious. Grab a box. The box under his feet crumbles and he loses his balance. I just barely managed to catch him in a princess carry and his face immediately erupts in a blue flush. Uh, f fell for you pretty quick. Didn't, didn't I? Well, yep. It's been done. Oh, I gotta click. I can't help but laugh. What? I put him down and take a step back to him to give him space. There's an awkward silence. There seems to be a lot of those in this household. Uh, I'm your new neighbor. My name's B. Oh! I don't know who I thought you were. Stretch sent something earlier about a ladder ghost and I half assumed I died and you were a cute reaper. I'm not sure what to say to that, to be honest. Am I being weird? Also, also be weird? No. Are you sure? Yes. It's fine. You're fine. Why were you sending them a bunch of boxes anyway? That isn't very safe. I lost a bet, so my cousin got to use the settler first. Why not wait until it's available? Short people problems, am I right? <laughs> I'm gonna say that. He's probably not gonna like it, but... I relate. 
<laughs> no kidding. <laughs> Another skeleton wanders in, carrying a box of what appears to be six consoles and a bunch of wires. Looks like Short Stack snatched a ladder from you. You want a losing streak, Blue? Your name's Blue? I didn't tell you my name! Real smooth. Blue clears his throat. I'm Blue. Nice to meet you. And that's Red. We're color-coded for your convenience. Ah. I'm just a regular guy. But he's, you know, a blue blood. Uh, what? Are you insinuating that you have blood? And am I in the presence of... Presence of royalty? Should I bow? Maybe. Plan on fighting out. I absolutely do not. What was that even supposed to mean? Don't know, but you better hurry up. Think Nox is about done with his jewels. No! My bat! It seems like I'm off the hook for bowing. I take that as my sign to leave. The bet seems pretty important to Blue, and I'd rather not be in the way. I'll see you around. To my surprise, Red follows me. So what are you doing in our house? Sans invited me to meet all of you. Gross. Uh, uh, are you always a standoffish? I have a tragic backstory. What is it? You haven't unlocked it yet. Ah, yeah. Is that supposed to be meta? Just trying to break down some walls. I sigh. I'll let you get back to unpacking. I think I've held you back long enough. See you around, human. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna go to the kitchen. I can hear what might be a serious debate happening in the house. It seems to be coming from the kitchen, so I wander over there. There are two tall skeletons inside. They are sorting and putting away dozens of boxes of pasta. The debate appears to be about whether to organize the boxes alphabetically by type or country or origin. Or well, country of origin. Actually, I think you will find Pinguini, while seemingly genuinely Italian, was actually invented in 1492 in California by Charles Penguin, an abandoned penguin that- I'm not sure anything the skeleton is saying is factual. I can't help but notice the lovingly- lovingly framed sign on the countertop. Made with macaroni noodles, it probably proclaims no sands is allowed. I interrupt before I can stop myself. Is there more than one? Is this a frequent problem? Is he cloning himself? <laughs> <laughs> the skeleton show look and I can't decipher. Yes. It's like an infestation. <laughs> I nod as if that makes sense. It makes about as much sense as anything else I've been told by these skeletons. Are you one of San's friends? Did he ask you to come to help? Yes. Who are you? And why are you in our house? Well, he... He didn't tell me to help, but... I think we're friends now. He kind of cryptically said I needed to talk to everyone, like it was destiny. The fancy skeleton doesn't seem to get my meaning. The bespectacled nods sympathetically. Oh, I'm by. Uh, I'm by. <laughs> oh, I'm B, by the way. It's nice to meet you. The pleasure's all yours. <laughs> the skeleton elbows the fancy I'm one. I'm Poplar, and this is Boss. I'm not bi. <laughs> Are you twins? Why so much pasta? I'm your new neighbor. Oh, oh my gosh. We need to give you a housewarming gift then. Um, welcome to our house. Poplar takes a pasta box from Boss's hands and hands it to me. This box isn't warm now. But wait till you get some water boiling. Then you'll see how warm a house can be. They should be giving us presents, doofus. I'll bring something tomorrow. I can make this pasta. Lovely. Good. It'll give me a chance to see the competition. Why is so much pasta? We're stocking up on non-perishables. It's been proven that carbs are the perfect vehicle for every other food especially when they come in fun shapes. 
pasta is like a collectible series that you can eat. It's like a blind box where you know what you're getting and you can eat it. Mm. It's good for the bones. Are you twins? No, he's blood orange. I'm burnt umber. Completely different colours. We're identical cousins? Um, can that happen? Well, it did. Clearly. Why would we lie about such a strange and oddly specific thing to lie about? I don't know. You're raising more questions than I originally had. But okay. Are you done interrogating us? Hmm? Oh. Sorry. This pasta won't unpack itself. Thank you for the short reprieve, of course. But we really must be getting back to work. It was nice to meet you. Hmm. And you as well. Uh, go upstairs. Just when I decide to go look upstairs, I hear a yelp and a crash. I run up the stairs and into the first room I see with an open door. There's a fashionable, fashionably short skeleton on the ground, hurling insults at an equally short step ladder. What? You think you're better than me? Being short and stable? I click. I step on you every day. You're nothing. Uh, yeah. Fuck that ladder. I hope you get stepped on past your weight limit, you hunk of scrap. The skeleton freezes and levels of a befuddled expression at me. Wait. Who are you? And why are you in my house? I'm your neighbor. If I can say anything, another skeleton walks in. He takes in the situation, then dramatically leans on the doorframe, hand thrown against his forehead. Oh no! Nox has fallen down! And there's been a break-in by a really calm, confused burglar! <laughs> the short skeleton seems to pale. I haven't fallen down, you don't! I... The stepladder and I had a disagreement. I'm fine. He turns to me with a scowl and tense glare. You, on the other hand, are you a burglar, like the tall one says? No, Sans said. Oh. I'm your neighbor. Sans invited me over to meet you all. Ah, that's neat. The fancy one straightens himself out, acting like everything is normal and totally fine. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. My name is Knox. This is my... Cousin Stretch. So named because he was subjected to a medieval torture device as a child, resulting in him being so stupidly tall. <laughs> Hi. I don't as if everything is totally normal and everything is totally fine. Oh, okay, sure. I'm B. Right. Perhaps we can continue this conversation another time, when we are more presentable. It was nice to meet you. It seems like he's struggling to be cordial. I decide to take that as my cue to leave. Ah, oh, yeah. Likewise. I'll see you around, I guess. See you on the flip side. Don't get caught by the ladder ghost. <laughs> as I turn to leave, I catch Nox smacking him on the arm. There's no ladder ghost. Right? That's, that's just a joke? Stretch, you're kidding, right? Right. Oh, yeah. Totally. Just regular old japery. No ladder goes here. Or is there? <laughs> Their voices fade as I descend the stairs, but I can barely make out Nox's continued shouts of concern. Is there a ladder ghost? Go to the moving van. I decide to take a peek into the moving van. I heard Papyrus talking to someone in there, in here just a few minutes ago, so they're probably still inside. Sure enough, I spot a pair of long legs hanging over the side of a couch amongst all the boxes. There's the distinct sound of snoring. Papyrus must have been getting on this one's case about not helping as well. How many lazy skeletons are there? Should I wake him up? Let him sleep. I decide to let him sleep. I start backing away, but accidentally kick a box and knock over a lamp. 
It falls into the side of the moving van with a clunk. The skeleton bolts awake and hurdles over the back of the couch, right in the pile of boxes. He stands back up, brandishing a pool noodle like a sword and glancing around in fear. I put my hands up and back away slowly. Hi, sorry for startling you. He doesn't say anything, but rather just continues staring at me with a d dazed confusion. Maybe he's still half asleep? I clear my throat. Hi there, I'm your new neighbor. The skeleton relaxes marginally and tosses the pool noodle aside. Oh shit. S sorry. Hi. Yes, uh, I'm moving in. That means I'm also your new neighbor. I see the opportunity to make a stupid joke and take it. Hi, moving in, also your new neighbor. I'm B. Cool, cool. Oh, I'm Russ. I nod. Nice to meet you, Russ. Were you napping just now? Russ regards me suspiciously. He seems hesitant to answer. Uh, did Papyrus send you in here? Papyrus? No, uh, Sans did, actually. For whatever reason, Russ doesn't like that answer. Oh no, that's even worse. What? He just said... If Sans is coming after me for slacking off, the situation must be truly dire. What? Sans is one of the laziest of us all. If he's paying attention to how lazy I'm being, then there must be more work than I previously thought. Who's gonna come after me next? Red? Dude, are you okay? No, uh, I might need to go into hiding. Do you have a duffel bag? How strong are you? Um... I need a new identity. Russ cast a look around the moving van. Lamp couch pool dull. It'll have to do. Uh, you know where I can get a fake passport? Uh... Play long. I know a guy, but he doesn't come cheap. <sighs> Dang. My bro hasn't given me my allowance yet. Allowance? How old are you? He's about as tall as Papyrus, and I could have sworn he was around my age. It's not that. I'm just bad with money. Oh, that sucks, I think. Oh, that sucks. Russ no nods solemnly. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, probably. Sans will probably forget about me in a few minutes anyway. He just sent me to meet you, you know. Really? Uh, he's not worried about me slacking off? I shrug. Not as far as I'm aware. That seemed more Papyrus's deal. Cool. Means I can keep doing nothing then. I'll leave you to it, then. It was nice meeting you. Oh, uh, the same. See you around, maybe. I exit the moving van as Russ settles back on the couch. I've met all ten skelly cousins. The sun seems to be setting, so I think it's time for me to head home. Sands catches me on the front lawn. So, how'd it go? Any cat you fancy? <laughs> okay. I'm probably gonna regret this, but I just wanna be like, hey, Sans. Huh? I knew my jokes were irresistible. If I have fans already, I should have tried out for the stand up position at the club. You do stand up? Usually, I prefer lying down, <laughs> but I've been known to stand up on occasion. That's pretty neat. <laughs> mm hmm. I'll be here all week. And by that, I mean the foreseeable future. I should be getting home. It's about dinner time. Right. See you, pal. In a blink, he's gone. What a weird guy. Back at home, I spend the whole evening thinking about my new neighbors. On my way to bed, I pull back my curtain again to take another look across the street. There sits an enormous house illuminated by moonlight. What does the future hold? A small to myself. The ten skeletons living across the street. I'm sure whatever is in store for me will be humorous. Well, no, that was just the demo. That's all. That's it. That's it. I get. That's all I get. I don't get more memes. I don't get more, which I mean, 
Do you still love me knowing I'm willing to eat shit like this? Remember to drink water, babes? No. Then become the dirt I walk on. A repost like this hits me so hard because OP always swings back with a new type of bat and I'm never prepared for it. Okay, well... You know... <laughs> looking at Russ. Oh man, it's our idiot. Well... Oh, look! Ooh! There's certain things! Okay, I can't wait for this game to release. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I will see you guys. I hope that you could hear them. Because I'd go quiet. I didn't read it. Because I could hear it very loud and clear. So, I hope you guys could hear. Anyways, bye!